Alright. Hey guys, it's your boy. Yes, I'm late today, man. I get a call this morning. Somebody fussing at me, management. Uh, fussing at me about, y'all remember the, well, it's right here in my stall. He told me he's going to put it in my stall, but y'all remember the red 300 we put the transmission. Let me tell you how soon that was, or how short of a distant time that was. The old one is still right here. <laughs> so y'all remember this 300? They say it's a leaking. That is oil. They said it's leaking. I put a transmission in it. All right. Yeah, they, uh, you got to come back. Like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, let's, uh, let me let this thing up in the air. I mean, they call me uh, like it's the end of the world. And I ain't even sure, uh, it's my fault, but it doesn't matter. I, it's always the fault of the guy that worked on it last, all right? No matter what he did, all right? He's the last one to touch it. Uh, but if that's the fluid leak they talking about, guys, this is oil. I replaced the transmission. Like I say, y'all remember this is that one where I was fussing about the fact that it's a Jasper transmission? Yeah, uh, Nag 1, the Jasper transmission. I replaced it. They're calling me early in the morning. That car came back. It's leaking fluid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out why. Alrighty, guys. Man. That looked like... If that had to come straight down... <laughs> Ooh. 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 This is not even tight, guys. I didn't use much force at all to turn it. So, it's leaking oil. I'm not freaking... These idiots. This is what I replace. This is what I install. Now, had this been coming leaking transmission fluid from right here, right here, then that would have been my fault. But if it had been anything relating to this transmission, it's not my fault. Okay, just say a rear seal or any kind of seal. I installed a transmission unit as a whole. I didn't build this. But yeah, still got the Jasper tag on it. I just did this about a week ago. So yeah, like I say, naturally I'm gonna be blamed for anything, no matter what it is. But I feel a little relief. Now I'm gonna go fuss at the manager for fussing at me. Y'all see what I'm saying? Ooh, that's not good. I'm about to relocate that. I don't want that. And it's new. Somebody just installed this. Oh, yes guys, this is not my fault. Ha, I dodged the bullet. Ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, oil. Another drop finna come down there. It's just not tight. So, I mean, at all. So, I'm gonna sell a oil, LOL. I can either sell an oil change or just simply tighten this up and verify the oil level. I'm gonna go talk to them, find out what they wanna do. But, uh, no, don't be calling me in the morning, fussing at me about something. I don't know. Stop being so sensitive, JT. It could have been something. It could. We just need you to look at it. That's that would have been a better approach. Hey, guy, Mr. JT. You know that car you worked on? You put the transmission on. Uh, well, it, it has a leak. Uh, we need to get you to look at it again. I would have felt that would be more professional, right, guys? As opposed to, hey, you dummy, that car you did the transmission on is leaking. You put it in wrong. <laughs> Yeah, we play like that. But mind you, this thing only go in one way. You can't put a transmission in wrong. And he definitely can't drive it a week with the transmission in wrong. So, just a little humor for you guys. Um, it's nothing serious. But that is serious, okay? And that will turn any customer off. I just spent five grand and now, they always use the word now. And now my car is leaking. We're going to fix this for no charge. I'm most definitely not gonna let them charge her for that, especially after she just spent five grand, okay? So, yes, all right, let me go talk to somebody, y'all. Y'all stay tuned, I'll be right back. Ooh, righty guys, welcome back. Now, I'm gonna show y'all what come of this. This is the red 300 with the leaking. Guys, I didn't know, I just found out, well, I had found out off camera <coughs> that the ABS light was on also. Um, Left rear wheel speed sensor, no signal from it. Okay, I didn't film the diagnosis. I did have a look at my 
the scan too and I, I wasn't getting a signal from the left front wheel every other wheel I was so I'm gonna go in with a sensor and guys y'all remember this is the same car y'all remember the dual, dual climate video that I was trying to the ticky noise watch this video right here it came in for ticky noise also but uh this is the car that had three problems but y'all remember, it took me a while to find out what they was talking about, the ticking, and it turned out to be the blend door, right side blend door, actuator. How much time was it the last? I got default stuff on. That's it. That's it, guys. So the problem is the passenger side actuator. I don't know. The computer have a way of monitoring the travel. If that uh, actuator motor travels too far, um... Uh, it could do that. It could be broke internally, but it would set that code. In fact, uh, I guarantee you the code going to say passenger side blend door travel exceeded. Something like that. Something to that effect. Yes, this is that same car. And she also want to get that fixed while we edit. So, all right. So, here's my actuator, guys. So, I got, actually, this turned out to be a good... It's turned out to be a not so bad situation. Let me put it like that. All right, I got a wheel speed sensor and an actuator, and I'm gonna take care of that oil leak for her. All right, it's not really an oil leak; it's just a loose oil filter. I don't know who changed the oil as. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm gonna fix it because that's what kind of guy I am. I don't know how difficult this is. We talking about blend or not recirc? So there's a level of difficulty on the blend side. I will do my homework, however, and find out. Yes, guys, I go to the book like anybody else. I don't know this stuff by heart. This is a dual setup, all right? You got a blend door on the left and a blend door on the right. The noise we had was coming from here, all right? So this is what I'm about to replace. And remember, the code was a range, the actuator range or something like that. Just, they come apart inside, so there's nothing else left to do but to replace it. Uh, I'll try to film it if I can grab a tripod and sit under there and uh, show y'all what's going on. <laughs> but it will have to be on a different video because I'm about wrapping this one up. I don't like to leave these videos open. And uh, plus I got that other job over there to do. So I'm about to knock that out. And this will be tomorrow. So I don't like this video. This footage land. Y'all know where I'm going. But it's fairly easy. Wheel speed sensor. I don't know how easy this is. But we're going to find out together. Yes, so this is not a comeback per se, not a recheck. I, I don't like that word, but from time to time it happens to everybody, okay? Yes, not transmission fluid at all. All right, guys, that's all I have. We're going to get this baby running the way it should. All right, thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.